This is experiment two. We are trying to determine the load characteristic of a separately excited DC motor. And we have three plots uh, of curves. Torque versus armature current, speed versus armature current, and speed versus the, uh, the shaft torque. So we need to conduct this experiment to get all the data for us to plot the characteristic curves so in this table right what we will do is to increase the armature current due to loading because when load increases the armature current increases and you can expect the shaft to increase okay speed will take a look usually it will drop somewhat so this is a setup just like the first experiment the motor is on the left side m1 and m2 is the generator now the generator is acting as a load la. so this time round we will introduce the load via two ways one is the load bank which i'll show you and the other one is the field circuit so we will increase the fuel to increase the, the loading right because then the generator will need to work harder when fuel current is increases and of course the motor will feel the increased load so we will increase the load by increasing the fuel current first until we reach the maximum we can't increase further we then turn to the load bank which is actually uh, a load resistor like it's a huge uh, load bank here like real stat if you like uh, over here it's quite a big uh, equipment here and what we will do is decrease the the load resistance so as to increase the load current so currently it's already set maximum resistance Later, we will decrease the resistance, the load bank resistance, in order to increase the load current. So the connection is done this way. Okay, with uh, the two wires going to the armature circuit of the generator A1 and A2. Right, F1, F2 connected to the fuel circuit. Set. that's for the generator and the F1, F2 for the motor is connected to the real stack the fuel circuit of M1 okay. and of course uh, A1, A2 to the armature of the motor ok uh, make sure also like experiment 1 the motor real stat uh, is at maximum, but the fuel current must be set at the minimum so that uh, you don't have uh, uh, too low a fuel current and the speed will go up very high. So we set the real stat to maximum to limit the fuel current. And so this is the fuel current this is the armature current and this is the armature supply voltage ok we will start the experiment soon let me just um, zoom in on ok we will set the armature voltage at 220 then we will fix the fuel current at 0.5 rather than 0.55 okay 0.55 is a rated but in this experiment we set at 0.5 throughout we will keep the fuel current constant throughout okay Mr. Tan is going to turn on the supply switch 1 switch 2 and we will increase to 200 
Okay, and make sure that the fuel current is 0.5. Fuel current 0.5. Then take note of the speed 1368 and the torque which is 0.6 Newton meter. Also uh, the armature current which is 0.61. Alright, so Let's fill in this value. Armature current point point six one. The torque is point six newton meter. The speed is one three six eight one three six eight rpm. Okay, next reading. We are going to increase the armature current to 1.5 M and we are supposed to increase the fuel circuit of the generator to provide the load, increase load then when this is maxed out, we will move to the load tank so we will start with uh, 1.5 M by increasing Fuel current of our generator such that the armature current is actually 1.5 M. So this is due to increased load. So the armature current has to go up. You can see even maxing out the fuel set, uh, the fuel current is not sufficient to give us the 1.5 armature current. So we have to then adjust the load tank, reduce the resistance to increase the load current in the anti-clockwise uh, direction. We are getting the results. For some reason, I think the load uh, bank may have fused. So we need to actually change the fuse because the load, load bank without the fuse will not be able to provide the um, current. So Mr. Tan is replacing the fuse in the load bank circuit. So we essentially um, go back to increasing. Increasing the fuel current to reach 1.5. Actually, I think we may be able to hit 1.5 for a start. Uh, not quite there. So this is when you have to increase the the load via the load bank. Okay, and it's done. Now it's 1.5. 1.5 armature current. Therefore, take note of the speed. And take note of the top. Huh? The top is Newton meter, 1.9 to Speed is 1356. Huh? So 1.9, 1356. 1356 and 1.9 Newton meter. So you can see the top has increased. Why? Because the load has increased, so the torque has increased, 
and the speed has dropped right due to the increased load slightly while the armature current goes up so our next reading is 2 ampere 2 ampere and Mr. Tan is going to increase the load bank reducing the real set resistance to increase the armature current to 2 2 ampere while actually maintaining 0.5 so you have to do some adjustment because this is supposed to be kept constant at 0.5 and then 2 amp here and 220 supply voltage so quite a bit of adjustment so about there 2 amp speed is 1343 and 2.7 meter okay so let's write down 2.7 and 1 3 4 6 okay so so this will just continue I'm gonna stop the recording here so basically or maybe you take another one the next reading is 2.5 2.5 we have to Reduce the real step resistance, thereby increasing the load current to 2.5. And once again, make sure the supply is 220. This is Q current 0.5, about. And uh, yeah, 2.5 and so. Newton meter 3.5, 1330 RPM. 3.5 Newton meter and 1330 RPM. Okay, this will go right to the end until it is 5.5 M armature current, the rated value. So I'll stop the recording here. Okay.